All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God so people here forbear. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel. A people before a place, right? What doeth the Lord thy power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, require of thee? But to fear. See, that's, that's the thing about it. The whole world is going to fear the God of the Bible. Only him. The whole world is going to fear the God of the Bible. There ain't going to be no, no more such thing. The, these other pagan gods that are being talked about now, it ain't going to be no more heard of a Allah, a Buddha. A Santa Maria, a Hindu God of Shiva, you know, the Kemet gods and all the other nonsense. No, it's all going to all be about Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's who the whole world is going to fear, right? Starting off with you Israelites, right? What doeth the Lord thy power require of thee, O Israel, but to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him? What is love according to the Bible? The keeping of the commandments. To walk in all his ways, to love him, and to serve him, and to serve him. You're going to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. For thy good, man, you want to live? You're going to serve your hand by Shemel Shai because if you don't, it's a penalty. You know, so it's a penalty for not serving and fearing the God of the Bible. The scriptures tell us to serve the Lord with fear. And rejoice with trembling. Another millennium. And our people are still not fearing the God of the Bible. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 31. We always got to bring out scriptures like this. Always. Always remind our people to fear the God of the Bible. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 31. I started 30. For we know him that have said. Vengeance belongeth unto me. See, that's what the God of the Bible is coming with. Judgment. Vengeance, man. He's going to judge you people of the earth. And he said he's going to start at his sanctuary. He meaning he's going to start with you Israelites, you rebellious Israelites. He's going to start with you, man. For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense. The God of the Bible is going to pay you back. He's going to plead with your flesh with fire. And I'm going to get that. Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, said the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Once again, Yahweh why Yahweh Shai is going to judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And once again, that's what you see going on throughout the four corners of the earth. These people are actually falling into the hands of the living power. These people are falling into the hands of the living power, man. A power that knows all, a power that sees all. That's, that's who's doing these people the way they're being done. Psalm chapter 68, verse 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto Yahweh belong the issues from death. That's why it's a must that we fear the God of the Bible. It's a must that we all fear the God of the Bible. And you will fear one way or the other, man. You Israelites will come to the conclusion and the realization that fear is a must. Psalm chapter 2. Verse 11, serve the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, with fear. That's how you serve the God of the Bible. You serve him with fear, man. You take that pride and you throw it out the window. And you come humble. You come meek. You come lowly. Serve the Lord with fear. Everybody always talk about love. Where well, the God of the Bible says, I want you to serve me with fear. And rejoice with trembling, man. Kiss the sun. Lest ye be angry. And ye perish from the way. Look, when his wrath 
is kindled but a little. When his wrath is kindled but a little. These people only seen a little bit of the wrath of the Lord. His wrath is kindled a little, right? Blessed are all they that put their trust in him, man. And when you fear you have about Shemel Shah, you most definitely are going to put your trust in him, man. You will fear. You will fear the God of the Bible. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. That's the beginning of you even thinking about knowing anything. It starts off with the fear of the Lord. But fools despise wisdom and instructions, right? So you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, look. If you're not fearing the God of the Bible, do you know you're considered a fool? If you're not fearing Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, do you know you're considered a fool, man? You better get your act together. Recompense is coming. Payback is coming. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. It's going into why we was created, man. Us Israelites. And everybody on the face of the earth, but mainly you Israelites, right? Fear the Most High. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Fearing the God in the Bible, that's your whole duty. That's why you was put on the face of the earth to fear the God in the Bible, right? For this is the whole duty of man. For Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment. With every secret thing. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. And we know the terror of the Lord. That's why we make these videos. Every morning, throughout the day, at night, we make these videos. Why? Because we know the terror of Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, right? That's why we do it. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. But do you know the terror of the Lord? Have you considered that yet? The terror of Yahweh, why Yahweh shot? Well, well, you're going to know it real soon. If you haven't figured it out, you're going to know it real soon, man. Okay? Because cause why? The guy in the Bible said, look, I'm the one that's killing. I'm the one that's keeping you alive. Look, you better fear me. Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city? Meaning them bad times. See, that's why we need to fear the God of the Bible, because everything that you see going on, you know, the evils, anything good happening to you is your how about Shimei was shot. Anything bad happening to you is your how about Shimei was shot. Because the word evil means bad times. Shall there be bad times in a city and the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, have not done it? That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. All right? The scriptures tell us there's no want to them that fear the God of the Bible. There's no want to the, to the Israelites that fear the God of the Bible, man. That's why the Lord be having us read these scriptures over and over and over again to get it through your thick skulls, man. It's better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39. See now that see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. I kill. Look, look we read earlier that he said vengeance is his, you know? And he will recompense the ones that hate him to their face. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's why we must fear the God of the Bible. Because once he got his eyes set on you to destroy you, can no one deliver you out of his hand, man. He said he creates darkness. He creates the light. He creates peace and he creates evil. 
Once again, that's why it's a must that we fear the God of the Bible, man. We must fear Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. We must fear Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Second Chronicles chapter 19, verse 7. Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, be upon you. It didn't say nothing about love, it says fear. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our power, nor respect of person, nor taking of gifts. Meaning you can't pay the Lord off. He don't want your money. When it's time for you, when it's time for your number to get dialed, he's going to dial it, man. Let the fear of the Lord be in you. Shalom.